OK, unlucky tonight, Andy. Uh, what do you think went wrong this evening? Um, well, disappointed, really. Obviously, it's a bitter, bitter uh, one to swallow, really, because I thought we had, set, you know, 65 70% of the possession. Um, but we couldn't break them down. I thought they defended very well. Um, but I was disappointed because I think over the last... You know, uh, half dozen games we've had that hasn't been a problem to us scoring goals. We've scored a lot of goals, uh, but tonight we just didn't see when we got in the attacking third to have the quality to unlock them, which is quite unusual for us. And we do a lot of work on that. So it was, that, that was the disappointing part. We had all the possession, but failed to uh, to really break them down as much as we should have done. And uh, as you say, there was plenty of possession, but it was uh, the creativity just in that final third. Yeah, which, as I mentioned before, I, I, I think normally we're, we're pretty good at. But tonight I was a little bit disappointed with our movement and our final pass. I thought we were uh, a little bit too uh, impatient in the attacking third at times and gave away sloppy passes, you know, and, and we gave them the, the two goals that they scored. Obviously, the, the second one, uh, I think, flatters them because we were pushed everybody forward to try to get goal in the very last minute. Uh, but there was a mistake, our mistake in midfield field, uh, they broke through um, and, and managed to get a 1-0 lead, which was probably unjustified on the first half. There were, though, Andy, some very, uh, very good individual performances tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't. Uh, I was obviously bitterly disappointed with the result. Um, there was some really good play to take from it for a development point of view. Um, I was really delighted with Shay Facey, who came in as a young 17-year-old at centre half and, and handled the occasion very well. Uh, Emmy Hughes, I thought, another young boy that came in and, and played well in midfield. Um, you know, I thought Jeremy Halan caused them tall problems down the left-hand side in a 10 or 15-minute period that, that they couldn't handle. So there were some good performances, but you know, and we've had some good performances all season. It's just a shame to finish with a, a, a result such as that. And as you say, some very good performances and uh, very positive things to take from this season. Uh, what would you uh, take away going forth into next season? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've, we've plenty in our development programme. I mean, when you think of the likes of John Gadetta, who's been on loan this year at Feyenoord and has proven to be excellent. We've had Kareem Reckitt, who again I thought was excellent again tonight. And he's played Championship football and he's only 17. You know, so we do, we have a, some, a nucleus of some very, very good young players. Um, you know, they weren't all out there tonight because some of, of the loans have finished and, and, and we've sent them away on holiday. But the ones that played tonight, we wanted to see how they reacted and what the situation was. And, and as you said, I, I thought we, we did very well in patches, just disappointed to lose the game. And uh, everybody going away for a well-deserved rest uh, now. But just looking into next season, what will you be looking to focus on? Well, I think next year we've we've some uh, more excellent young players coming in as first-year scholarship boys, and we're looking to work with them. We've got the next generation league again, which we're now in a group with Fenerbahce, Juventus, uh, Paris Saint-Germain. So that's something to focus and look forward on. So we've got lots to look forward to. We've some excellent young players coming in the building. We've some already in. We've just got to keep working at it and, and get as many as we can through to the, the first team squad and, and regularly playing with the first team squad if we can. Great. Just finally then, uh, Andy, what did you say to the to the boys tonight? What was your parting words with them? Yeah, I, I was uh, tonight. I just said to them again. I was disappointed that we we'd lost the game. Uh, I can live with the second goal because we pushed everybody forward. I said to them, I was disappointed, as I mentioned previously, regarding our play in and around the edge of the box. Uh, but I thought we passed it well. We had good possession, and it's a really good development experience for some of those boys, and they will only go on to greater things.